solving a quadratic equation using a new method by Dr. Lowe of Carnegie Mellon University. A general procedure. The roots of the quadratic equation x squared plus bx plus c equals 0. If there is a, a number, non-zero number, then we can divide through by that. The roots are given by negative b over 2 plus minus u where the product of the roots is the constant c. That is negative b over 2 plus u times negative b over 2 minus u equals c. Then all we have to find is u from this product. So the basic idea here is when we graph a quadratic function, just say x squared plus bx plus c function, uh, we might have something like this x squared plus bx plus c and then these are the roots and this is halfway here uh, that will be negative b over 2 and if we think this length is u then this root is negative b over 2 plus u and this would be negative b over 2 minus u and when we multiply these two roots we get this constant c okay now one formula when we multiply uh, u and b u plus b and u minus b uh, just foil uh, it's gonna come out to be u squared minus b squared yeah we've seen this way a lot of times difference of two squares is just u plus b u minus b yeah this will be useful when we multiply these two Pretty much when we multiply the middle two terms cancel and we'll get this so let's do some examples here so number one we got x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0 then uh, the roots are here so that's uh, negative b so b is here negative 3 so negative b over 2 that means negative negative 3 over 2 plus minus u these are the roots okay so that will be in this case so negative negative 3 over 2 is just 3 over 2 plus u and 3 over 2 minus u when we multiply these two we have to get this c c is 2 by the way okay let's solve this equation when we multiply this is like I said earlier this is just u plus v times u minus v and we when we multiply the middle two terms cancel and we get u square minus v square so that is in this case 3 halves 3 halves square 9 fourths minus u square equals 2 this is 9 fourths minus u square equals 2 uh, let's solve for you subtract 2 from both sides so 9 fourths minus 2 and add u square both sides so I'm moving u square over subtract 2 9 fourths minus 2 2 is in fact 8 fourths so 9 fourths minus 8 fourths is 1 fourth take the square root both sides so one half so u is one half okay then come back here and find the roots thus so let, let me write over here thus the roots are that was three halves plus u and three halves minus u and we just found u to be one half so 3 halves plus 1 half 4 halves that's 2 3 halves minus 1 half it's 2 halves which is 1 so 2 and 1 okay let's do another example x squared minus x minus 12 equals 0 here b is negative 1 and c is negative 12 
so negative b over 2 negative of negative 1 over 2 so 1 half plus minus u are the roots and their product 1 half plus u times 1 half minus u is c which is negative 12 when we multiply this is u plus v times u minus v type when we multiply one half one half one half is squared one fourth minus u is squared if you foil the middle two terms cancel equals negative 12 so we are trying to determine the value of u here so add u square both sides add 12 so 12 to the front so 1 fourth plus 12 equals u square so pretty much moving this to the other side now 1 fourth plus 12 uh, we need to add by making common denominator so this is in fact we can multiply top and bottom by 4 over 4 bottom means 12 over 1 so this is 48 fourths by the way 1 fourth plus 48 fourths 1 plus 48 49 fourths equals u is square take a square root both sides so u is square root of 49 is 7 over 2 thus the roots are 1 half plus u so 1 half plus 7 halves 1 half plus 7 halves 8 halves which is 4 and 1 half minus u 1 half minus 7 halves 1 half minus 7 halves is negative 6 halves which is negative 3 okay we can check this solution here just plug in x equals 4 we get 0 plug in x equals negative 3 we get 0 so let's do another example where a is not 1 so in this case we need to divide through by 2 which is then x is squared plus 5 halves x plus 1 equals 0 so here b is 5 halves and c is 1 so the roots are negative b over 2 so we need to half half this half means multiply by 2 on the bottom so 5 half 5 halves half means multiply by 2 on the bottom so 5 over 4 and by the way negative negative b over 2 plus minus u are the roots okay and when we multiply negative 5 fourths plus u and negative 5 fourths minus u we have to get c which is 1 let's multiply negative 5 fourths minus 5 fourths just 5 fourths quantity squared which is 25 sixteenth minus u times u e square equals 1 okay this is just using the formula or you can multiply foil the middle two terms cancel now we need to get the value of u so subtract 1 from both sides move u square over so subtract 1 so 25 over 16 minus 1 equals add u square both sides as well now 1 is same as 16 over 16 so 25 over 16 minus 16 over 16 that means 25 minus 16 so that's 9 9 over 16 equals u square take a square root both sides okay and that is now 3 over 4 thus the roots are 5 fourths plus 3 fourths negative 5 fourths minus 3 fourths which can be simplified to uh, for common denominator negative 5 plus 3 negative 2 over 4 
negative 2 over 4 2 over 4 is 1 half so negative 1 half here is negative 8 over 4 negative 8 over 4 is negative 2 okay let's do number 4 here divide through by 6 okay then b is negative 1 over 6 and c is negative 1 over 6 so the roots are half of b half of b half means we just multiply by 2 on the bottom so negative 1 sixth or 1 over 12 half of this is 1 over 12 negative and that cancels this negative so this one plus minus u are the roots where the product of these roots is negative 1 over 6 1 over 12 plus u times 1 over 12 minus u is negative 1 over 6 so when we multiply the middle two terms cancel or using a formula 1 over 12 times 1 over 12 1 square over 12 is square minus u is square plus negative 1 over 6 now add 1 over 6 and move y square over as well so we get 1 over 144 plus 1 over 6 equals add u square both sides now we need to add these two fractions so need to make common denominator okay. uh, 6 goes 144 how many times so we can try 6 times 2 12 13 14 so 24 times so we can multiply top and bottom by 24 to make the common denominator and that gives us 144 is common denominator so 24 plus 1 1 plus 24 that's 25 now take a square root of both sides then that gives u equals 5 over 12 so we have u come back here and plug in u okay the roots are 1 over 12 plus 5 over 12 1 over 12 minus 5 over 12 now we can simplify 1 over 12 plus 5 over 12 6 over 12 which is same as 1 half 1 over 12 minus 5 over 12 1 minus 5 is negative 4 over 12 4 goes 12 3 times, so 1 third. Okay. Now here is number 5. Nine x square minus 12x plus 1 equals 0. So it's the same as previous. So let me, instead of this, let me do something else x square minus x minus 1 equals 0 okay so in this example uh, we need to figure out b and c not a b is negative 1 and c is also negative 1 so the roots are negative b over 2 so negative of negative 1 means 1 half plus minus u negative b over 2 so negative negative positive 1 over 2 plus minus u where the product 1 half plus u and 1 half minus u is c which is negative 1 let's multiply these two so 1 half 1 half 1 half is square so 1 fourth minus u square the middle two terms cancel equals negative 1 now we can solve for u so add 1 both sides add u squared so 1 fourth plus 1 equals u squared 1 is just 4 over 4 4 fourths 1 fourth 
plus four fourths is five fourths. Is u square? Now take a square root of both sides. So u equals square root of five over square root of four, which is two. So we have u. Thus the roots are. 1 half plus u, so 1 half plus root 5 over 2, 1 half minus root 5 over 2. Uh, we can combine 1 plus root 5 over 2, 1 minus root 5 over 2 as well, but this is it. Final.